all you real estate agents out there, it's Danny Griffin again from the RealtyClassroom.com with this week's real estate agent coaching tip. Now today's subject is establishing you as a brand. Now, how do you do that in a world where the marketing or information marketing is overwhelming the consumer's mind? Well, first of all, we're not trying to attract every consumer. We're trying to attract ready, willing, and able buyers and sellers. Those are the people that we're looking for particularly. Now, I know that's a pretty big category, but let's start with where you're strong already. Maybe it's your office. Maybe it's where you live. You need to begin to establish your presence and let that that population, that geography that you're interested in doing business with, that you are in the game. So how do you do that? Doesn't it sound expensive? I mean, you see these competitors out there with TV and billboards and radio, and it sounds so expensive, and it is. But there has never been a better time in history to use extremely inexpensive modalities to deliver your branded message. Think about what we're doing here today, a YouTube channel cost you absolutely nothing to establish. It costs you very short dollars to buy a camera like the one I'm using today. Somewhere under $300, you can even get a high definition camera with an SD card that you make one of these, you pop it in, and there's your branded message. You can then take that branded message and you can post it, Twitter, Facebook, etc. on and on and on. You can send it out in video emails form, whatever you like, but there's your branded message. There's one way. What about the old school? Direct mail. Everybody's been running away from direct mail. Psst. Good thing, right? Don't follow all the sheeple. Look back to direct mail. Hey, the post office finally woke up in the United States and said, let's introduce this every door direct mail program and deliver something for 14 and a quarter cents to a whole carrier route. So here you are, you've got a video out there to the geography, you've posted it somewhere, and now you get to send out a postcard with your face and your unique selling proposition, a strong statement that shows the consumer what's in it for them if they remember to do business with you. But then you want to pull them off of that modality, bring them over to your video. So offer a free video, maybe some free coaching tips, whatever it may be. But think about all the ways that you can take your unique selling proposition, the thing, the statement that explains to the consumer why they should do business with you, the brand, above and beyond all other brands, including doing nothing at all. That's what a unique selling proposition is. And you have multiple ways to get it out there. So write it down. Don't make it flimsy. I have integrity. I work hard. We're all going to say that. Hopefully, if we're above board and we're doing the right thing, we all have those attributes. You've got to show the consumer what's in it for them. Your home sold in seven days, guaranteed. For more information, visit this branded video of me talking about my program. That's the type of thing we're talking about. Then, measure it all. Make sure you're getting the reaction. Oftentimes, when you're branding yourself, it's not easy to measure its effectiveness because it takes time to penetrate the mindset of the marketplace. Whereas offering an IDX feed or a free list of homes, that's definitely going to get you quantity. But over time, if you begin to brand yourself with a unique selling proposition, you're going to see the quantity of the business that comes to you increase many fold and you'll be much more profitable. And those repeat and referral business, oh boy, that'll roll through the door. So I'm Danny Griffin telling you, please brand yourself. Get out there. Don't be a secret agent. That's the kiss of death. We'll see you next time on the realtyclassroom.com. And if you like these, please comment here. I'll reply to all of them and send them along. Share them. See you next time.